All right, before you get started, I just want to say uh, this is a little bit of a spoiler. If you haven't received your quad box, you probably want to push pause. Uh, I'm going to let you do that now because we're going to talk about what's in your quad box. All right, now that you're still with me, uh, watch this video if you want to learn more about our new flight controller and what it is, what uh, features it has, and uh, what's in your quad box. Okay, so here it is. Um, so basically, uh, Quad Box came to us. They wanted to do another Quad Box with us. Uh, one of our pilots, Cricket, was being featured in the Quad Box, and they wanted to put a Flight One flight controller in there to help out, you know, to let people see what Flight One's all about, since, you know, Cricket is so passionate about it. Uh, with the way Quad Box works is they have a certain price target to, they want to hit uh, in order to get the Quad Box to you, because the boost item, I think it's 25 bucks, and, you know, obviously, that includes the price of the items in there and they need to make it significantly less. Uh, it's one of those things where we tend to maybe lose some money to because we think it's maybe good exposure. So in order to get a deal, we got to get a good price. Now, we knew Falco X is coming out, so we needed some sort of OSD flight controller since Falco X right now and for a while, it's only going to work with OSD. So we worked our magic, we talked to our manufacturer, we came up with a great idea. This FC is, is ending up replacing the Revolt V3. The Revolt V3 uh, has been a 5 volt flight controller. It's always worked with the Bolt V2. Uh, it didn't have an OSD and uh, it needed 5 volt power. What we wanted to do is get a new replacement for that within the same price as that one, but add OSD. And at the same time, we wanted to add full LiPo if that was possible. Uh, we came up with an ingenious idea. Basically what we've done is we've removed the connectors from the uh, Revolt OSD. So you see here, but we've actually removed the connectors but left the PCB the same. So technically you could solder connectors on there uh, and you would have the same setup as a Revolt OSD. The other thing we've done is we've removed the flash chip. We find the majority of the people that use our uh, flight controllers don't bother with the flash. To be honest, I haven't done logging in a long time. It works in the old stuff. Um, Falco X, the support's not there yet. We're gonna add it, but in general, noise falls in a certain area. The tunes work pretty well. It's pretty easy to dial in a tune without a log. So logging to me hasn't been a priority for some time. Uh, with the Falco X, we're gonna add in uh, some, some of that again, and, and we're gonna make the logging a little different, I think help us out. But to be honest, the programming time, we think we can spend better in doing stuff like automatic filters rather than making you figure it out with logs. Uh, logs don't really make sense unless you get one of those guys that just wants to pour over the numbers and figure out all the stuff yourself. And traditionally, that's not been a Flight One guy in general. They, they tend to fly beta flight. So we have a new flight controller. This is called the Revolt OSD Lite. Uh, basically, what this is, is a Revolt OSD without the connectors, without the logging, you're going to have to solder it but it gives you the full benefit of the Revolt OSD for a fraction of the price. This is gonna be our replacement for flight controllers coming soon. We're putting these in our store right now. You can order the Cricut version, which is a very limited run. Uh, we just did them for Quad Box. We bought some extras to sell in our store, but after this, it's not longer gonna be the Cricut version. Hopefully, what we're gonna start doing is maybe featuring some of our pilots in their own special edition flight controllers. So you're gonna see some other designs coming up as well in the future. But why limit it to just one or few, uh, two pilots when a lot of our pilots are, are great and they deserve to be recognized? Um, unfortunately, you know, China thinking for themselves, they shipped them with these gummies, which to be honest, I'm not a big fan of. They're too thin, they're, they don't feel the same, they don't grab the same. So any of the ones we sell, we're gonna include our original gummies with. If you got the quad box, I would make sure you use an O-ring under, maybe an O-ring above. You're probably going to maybe even need to put a little nut loosely on top to keep it from coming off. Um, I'm not very happy about that, but it was a order where we moved mountains to make it happen. So um, it is what it is. You know, uh, our manufacturer in China thought these look better. You know, they match the purple of the board. Um, but I would rather have much better looking gummies. And we had a ton of black, so that was what was supposed to be put on there. Other than that, it's it's great. Um, Everything works good. This is you know, a Revolt OSD. It's a proven board. Tons of filtering, tons of other things that make it fly well. 
and I think you guys should be pretty happy with it. If you want to order one of these Cricut ones now, I suggest you do it right away because these are going to be the only ones we sell. We're not planning on keeping this design any longer. We do have the new designs coming in red and black uh, next week, and we're going to announce a replacement plan for your Revolt V3s uh, to replace with one of these as well. A little secret as well is anyone that had orders for Revolt V3s in the system, we're sending one of these out to you right away. So that means if you did have an order for the old stuff, you're getting one of these in the mail. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask them in the comments. Like, hit that bell, subscribe, do all that good stuff, and uh, let me know if you want to see anything in the new videos.